and today we are going to read Rupert Snowman. It was written by Philippa Warden and was illustrated by Grace Ward. It was Christmas Eve. A blanket of snow had wrapped the hills and fields that lay about the cottage. Rupert stood at the window, flapping with excitement. After breakfast, his mommy rummaged in the garage for the switch. They packed a rucksack with a flask of steaming hot chocolate and some gingerbread snacks. They wound those coats around and around until they could just peep out and set to the top of the hill. Stopping sometimes to make a snow angel, the two made their way to the top. Rupert began to roll the fluffy snow to make the best snowman that had ever been built. It stood almost as tall as his mommy. They used stones for the eyes, nose, mouth, and buttons. They pulled at bare sticks in the hedgerow for arms. Hmm, it is missing something. Aha! Rupert drained the last of the hot chocolate in his cup. He put the cup upside down on the snowman's head. A global of cocoa looked like hair and it was perfect. The snowman watched as the pair sled down the hill had snowball fights and decorated the winter wonderland with angels. When it was time for lunch, they raced down the hill one last time. The snowman seemed to be waving goodbye in a slight breeze. Who will look after Frosty? Rupert asked, still swelling in his eyes. The bird, the mice, and the deer tonight, came the reply. We can't leave him, and off he flew racing back up the hill. He threw his arms around Frosty and rescued his friend. Together, they rode the last of the three snowballs onto the sled, carefully laying the twigs and the stones beside them. Rupert squealed as he revealed Frosty next to the apple tree. He built a snow sister, a snow dog, and two snow kittens. Just before he went to bed, Rupert looked at the scene lit up by the flickering light of the log fire through the living room window. An entire snow family to keep Frosty company while Rupert waited for, for the Christmas to arrive. The end. And that was Rupert Snowman. We thank Miss Philippa Warden for letting us share her story. I'm Nora and remember, reading is a superpower! Thanks for watching. Bye!